Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about tramadol. How this drug acts as analgesic, what are the precautions, side effects and indications of tramadol. What is this drug tramadol? This is one of a opioid agonist just like the other drugs such as morphine, codeine, fentanyl. Tramadol also belongs to the opioid category. That's why this drug is used as analgesic and particularly this drug is indicated for treatment of moderate to severe pain and whenever this analgesic action is required throughout the day then for prolonged analgesic action Tramadol can be prescribed. What is the chemical nature? Tramadol is having the structure like this and here you can observe it is not having the steroidal nucleus but it is a modified structure which is having phenyl ring and cyclohexane ring system which may be compared with the morphine like structures. And just like the morphine, Tramadol is also having the alcoholic OH group and because this OH group is attached with the cyclohexane, now Tramadol can be written as cyclohexanol derivative. And this cyclohexanol is having a side chain at the second position that is nothing but the methyl group so 2-methyl but this methyl group is further attached with the dimethyl amino moiety. So we can write this as NN dimethyl amino. So 2-NN dimethyl amino methyl moiety is present at the second position on the cyclohexanol ring. And at the first position is having the phenyl ring. This phenyl ring is having a methoxy group at the third position. So now we can write this as 1-3-methoxy phenyl. So that is a complete name of the tramadol. So tramadol is a cyclohexanol derivative and uh, when we compare this structure with the morphine just like the morphine it is also having the phenyl ring as well as cyclohexane ring and an alcoholic OH group is present and because of this structural similarity tramadol also acts as a opioid agonist therefore it produces a central analgesia. Now let us the metabolism of tramadol. So all we have seen the structure of tramadol and here it is having the methyl groups on the nitrogen as well as on the oxygen. So these methyl groups can be easily removed during the metabolism such that tramadol can give the ND methyl metabolite or OD methyl metabolite. So here one of the methyl group is present on the oxygen like methoxy group. Now this methyl group can be removed such that it is going to give a metabolite. Now this metabolite is having the OH group here. So this is nothing but O desmethyl tramadol. So this is one of the metabolite of tramadol and this is an active metabolite and highly potent compared with the tramadol. This metabolite is around 6 times more potent than the tramadol. So the pharmacological effects of this drug is because of both parent drug as well as its metabolite O desmethyl tramadol. So now let us see how this drug acts. This tramadol acts as an agonist on the mu receptors which is responsible for the central analgesic action. At the same time this drug can also block the reuptake of few of the mediators like the norepinephrine and 5-HT. These two mediators are responsible for the inhibition of the nociception. So by inhibition of their reuptake their levels are going to be increased which increase their inhibitory effect on the nociception. Nociception can be transmitted through the neurons. So these nociceptive neurons send the signals through the other neurons towards the higher centers in the brain. These nociceptive neurons are going to release the nociceptive mediators which can act on the postsynaptic receptors. So when the pain stimuli is going to be generated in the presynaptic neurons they can release these nociceptive mediators which can act on the postsynaptic receptors such that the pain signal can be transmitted towards the higher centers of the brain. In this way the pain produced at the periphery can be transmitted towards the brain but here centrally this pain transmission can be controlled by so many other mediators. Few of the descending inhibitory pathways are present which are going to store the norepinephrine as well as the other mediators like 5-HT. These mediators can act on the presynaptic receptors alpha-2 receptors. So now these mediators can bind to this alpha-2 receptors which are inhibitory receptors. Therefore they can inhibit this pain transmission such that the pain cannot be transmitted towards the higher centers in the brain. In this way descending inhibitory pathways can control the nociception. But one of the limitations of these descending inhibitory mediators is their reuptake. The action of these mediators is controlled by their reuptake. So these chemical mediators can be reuptaken into the nerve terminal such that their action is going to be terminated. In this way 
the inhibitory action of these mediators is controlled by their reuptake. Now let us see how this tramadol acts. Tramadol can act on the noceptive neurons which are equipped with the mu receptors. Now tramadol acts as an agonist at the mu receptors such that it produces the inhibitory action on the noceptive neurons and pain transmission is going to be directly inhibited. Otherwise tramadol can also act on the reuptake transmitters such that it can inhibit the reuptake of norepinephrine and 5-HT. So when the reuptake is inhibited, the levels of these mediators are increased which can produce the inhibitory effect on nociception. In this way, tramadol can produce a direct inhibition on the nociception as well as indirect inhibition through elevation of the norepinephrine and 5-HT levels. What are the precautions? One of the important precautions of tramadol is risk of seizures. This risk is even observed with the therapeutic dose of tramadol. So whenever this drug is prescribed, the susceptibility of seizures in the patient should be carefully monitored. And particularly this is more important when other drugs are going to be prescribed. For example, TCAs like the amitriptyline and antihistamines like the promethazine which are having the tricyclic structure. And MAO inhibitors like phenylzine, tranylcipromine and isocarboxide. If you have the other opioids like morphine and fentanyl and any other antipsychotics like chlorpromzine, all these drugs are further increasing the risk of seizures when they are concomitantly given along with the tramadol. So that's why this drug should be carefully given with the other centrally acting drugs. Second important precaution is the serotonin syndrome. This is one of the syndrome observed with the elevated levels of serotonin. And when the serotonin levels are excessively increased within the central nervous system, it can produce few of the symptoms like uh, agitation, hallucinations, tachycardia, hyperthermia and incoordination along with some mental confusion. All these symptoms are observed with the serotonin syndrome. Now tramadol can increase the serotonin syndrome and this syndrome is further increased with other drugs like SSRIs, SNRIs, TCAs and MAO inhibitors which are going to increase the serotonin levels within the CNS. So again this tramadol should be carefully given with all these category of drugs in order to prevent the severe serotonin syndrome. And another important one is the suicidal initiation. Tramadol can increase the risk of suicidal initiation and particularly this risk is further enhanced with consumption of alcohol and administration of antidepressants and tranquilizers. All these drugs are going to increase the suicidal initiation when they are given along with the tramadol. Similarly, another important precaution is the anaphylactic reactions. Tramadol can produce few of the allergic reactions which is commonly observed with the other opioids. So this drug can produce bronchospasm, angioedema swelling as well as hives and even a serious condition like the Steven Johnson syndrome. All these allergic reactions can be observed with the tramadol. And another important precaution is the respiratory depression. Normally opioids produce a respiratory depression. So just like the other opioids, tramadol can also produce the respiratory depression which may lead to the respiratory collapse. That's why this drug should be carefully given in the patients who are having the respiratory disorders. What are the side effects? The important side effects include headache, nausea, vomiting and it can also produce some dizziness, somnolence. And if you have the other side effects like constipation, dry mouth, even dyspnea, all these side effects can be observed with the tramadol and it can also produce few of the hypersensitive reactions along with the pruritus. How it is given? Tramadol is available as a tablet at a dose of 50 mg, even it is available at the other doses and even in combination with the other analgesics and it is also available as a capsule but this capsule is available as an extended release tablet at different doses like 100 mg, 200 mg and 300 mg. In case of extended release capsule, the initial dose is going to be started at 100 mg once daily. Dose can be titrated according to the uses, but the maximum dose for the extended release tablet is 300 mg once daily. But the maximum dose for the extended release capsule is 300 mg once daily. So that's about this tramadol. Tramadol is a opioid agonist which is used to treat the moderate to severe pain. So whenever this analgesic action is required throughout the day, this tramadol can be given. Compared with the other opioids, this tramadol is having the less euphoria. But this drug can increase the suicidal initiation. Even it can precipitate the serotonin syndrome and uh, seizures in the patients. 
just like the other opioids, this drug can also produce respiratory depression and anaphylactic reactions. This drug acts as an agonist on the mu receptors, thereby it produces central analgesia, as well as it can also inhibit the reuptake of mediators like the 5-HT and norepinephrine, which are responsible for the inhibition of the nociception. And this drug is available as an accident release capsule, which is initiated at a dose of 100 mg, and the maximum dose is 300 mg. So that's about this tramadol. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.